Oh, someone's feeling shy. Because he had a nice figure. He had a nice figure. Yes. What's this? A bin? Don't forget your pen with a light on. Look at this maverick. Hello, hello. It's the start of a new week and it's already, well, I don't know, I can't see my watch, but it's already in the afternoon on Monday. Going to Venice tomorrow, gonna to pick my mum up from the airport this afternoon and in a bit of a mad rush right now. So I need to go get my nails done, get some euros and come back and finish packing. <coughs> Right, nails are done, Euros got. Now to do a bit of work before heading to the airport. Right, I'm just on the way to pick up my mum from Stansted. Oh, I've got my handbrake on. That's why I'm not moving. And uh, her flight was delayed by almost an hour and she's flying from Newquay in Cornwall. Don't know if any of you have ever been to Newquay Airport, but it's not the best place to have a delay when you're flying because the airport is essentially a shed. So luckily I think she has a book with her so she's gonna keep herself occupied but she should now be in the air. So I'm heading there to pick her up so we can fly off to Venezia tomorrow. So I'm quite excited about this trip because Growing up, I always used to travel with mum and dad. Um, I'm an only child, so it was just the three of us. We would go away on our family holidays. And obviously when you've got dad around, dad is like the leader, so you just follow him. And now that my mum like comes up to visit me a lot more, she has to use public transport and flights and things on her own. And she just panics, she gets in such a flap. So it's actually gonna be quite funny to see what she's like without my dad. And uh, I'm probably gonna take the piss out of her a lot, so yeah. Right, I'm at Stansted, completely went to the wrong place. I was waiting at international arrivals, so I hope she's not come in yet. Had to walk all the way down the other end to get to UK arrivals. She's coming, I see her. She made it! Hello, sailor. <laughs> right, let's go. Jesus Christ! Look at this! <laughs> Where do you think we're going? No, it's got my other case inside. Oh, okay. Very, very early. We have arrived at Stansted. Very! <laughs> Might be 60, but I'm not decrepit. <laughs> now I'm going to do a good job. I'm employee of the month or the week. Right, we have arrived in Venice. Where are you sneaking off to? Oh, someone's feeling shy. This is what I'm wearing. This is what mother's wearing. Very nice, very Venetian. So we're just gonna go and explore because our room's not ready yet, so let's go. This is our hotel, it's very nice. They've got lots of lilies, which is enjoyable. Oh, she thinks she's left a water in the library where they let us change. Here we are. Venezia. How do you feel, Mother? Oh, wonderful. Okay. <laughs> That's enough of that. <laughs> Let's go explore. We've got some bonging. We've got no idea where we're going. I've got a map. Not you. We're basically doing the left-right game and just seeing where it takes us. Come on, Mother! I'm coming, I'm going to do some long bit. She doesn't know what she's talking about. This is, this is the square. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, we are right in the middle of it all. We are in the square. And this is the basilica, I think. <laughs> yeah, there you go, there's the horsey. Where's the best shot to get? We are in the basilica. I'm breaking the rules by having my camera on. And I just want to show you my outfit. <laughs> I am 
wrapped up in two very glamorous pieces of potato sack. This is the new twin set for this season. I think it looks rather glam. Terracotta is my colour. We're just heading out onto the roof. I think I can have my camera out here. There's the horses. And here is the square. Well, how do you feel about the basilica? Well, it's hot. It's, it's hot. hot. Someone's hot. Love the horses. Love the horses. Grand. You're breaking the rules. You're not allowed cameras. <laughs> Put it away. Look at this maverick rule breaker. Um, Apparently, according to Mum, when I was how old? Three. Three. I used to think God was an estate agent because when we were looking at houses, going into all estate agents, to be on the camera to tell the story. <laughs> we looked at that many houses, and you said at this church, the Grinch Gardens, who lives here. And you said, well, he's got lots of homes everywhere. Child prodigy right there. Aww. I was a genius even at three years old. Yeah. You heard it here first. God is an estate agent. So, little tip. Take a shawl. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll have to wear this terracotta potato sack and it is not attractive. So while we were in the queue, a lady actually came and donated one of these potato sacks to me because she spotted me in this little dress and said they're going to ask you to cover up. But because the dress is short, I actually had to buy one more and they're a euro each. So I'm going to go back to the queue and donate my two potato sacks. Here she goes. Oh, your good deed of the day. Good girl. my favourite outfit. Right, let's go this way. Okay, we've just been discussing the gondola ride and it appears that Mum has a rather long list of specifications for the gondola. So, would you like to explain to us what you're looking for? It's got to be very opulent with either the gold horses... And gold the, horses... And the fancy throne... Fancy throne... Or golden cherubs... Or cherubs... The gondolier has yes. to don his Venetian hat. Right. He has to have a nice physique and not be fat. His shirt That's to... controversial, okay. He's got to have his shirt tucked in to emphasise his knee tone. Right. Uh, and not be a miserable gift. Right. It'd be nice if he sang. Oh, Jesus Christ. It would be nice if he sang. Right. Let's um, see what we can do on that list. Right, so it was too early for us to check into our hotel earlier. So we've come back to it now. Here it is, the Iriali. Don't know if I've pronounced that right, but I'll give it a go. This is where we can get a little taxi or something. All right, gonna check in and then show you guys the room. This is a teeny tiny bed, but never mind. It's very small, isn't it? Oh, it's lovely, it's so pretty. It's very, very small. <laughs> and the view, ah. Somebody's roof. Not so much of a view. Right, I've just packed my bag and I have uh, actually got changed. And we're going to head off out again. Uh, what are you up to? Okay. What's this? Oh, shower caps. I use them. Stripping hair. Are you shitting me? Are you've got... What's this? A bin? It's a shopping bag. <laughs> oh my God. A bin full of swag. Souvenirs. Souvenirs. Right, I had a little change. And now we are... We're gonna go this way. And we're just gonna go back out and have another mooch around. Apparently to try and find the perfect 
gondola man, according to this one. Right, what's the verdict on this guy? Shirt's not tucked in, is it? But he's quite handsome. Yeah? He'd just have to his shirt in, he'd be alright. But he's bought silver. Yeah. 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 Boat is silver? Yeah. That's no good, is it? You wanted a gold one. Yeah, that's a gold, but yeah, he's quite nice. Right, Mum, there's another gun, there's gone more gondoliers here. Shall we assess? What right, what do we think of this one? Well, I like the horse bolts, they're nice, they have to be gold. Right. He's on top. He's on top. And what? No hat. No, so he's a no. He's a no. No. No, no, that one. Oh, that one didn't even get an analysis, that one. Just got a nah. That was quite brutal. We've gone Simon Cowell on the gondoliers. <laughs> Gonna investigate these guys. No, she's run off. No. Were they no, those two? No. Nah? Okay, nah. Oh, look at her loving life. Yeah? Right, potentially we might have a gondola man. I'm zooming in. And she's using this to spy on him just to check if he's suitable. <laughs> now, he's this tiny little ant in the frame currently. But, Mum, I need to ask you what happens if this guy is the one? How exactly? Well, he's bought gold, it's terrible. Yeah, but look where he is and look where we are. So, how would we go about getting him? It's all right. Yeah, yeah but, but no, you're missing the point. He's all the way over there in the river. How are you going to get him to give us a ride? Oh, yeah, they have done him out. Has he got a registration on his board? I don't think that they have those. He's tidy. He's tidy, apparently. Here we go. Mama's in charge. Got myself a new job. <laughs> looking good, girl. Looking good. Limon. <laughs> okay. So, we've got lost. Let's try this way. We're going to try this way. Right, we've managed to find our way back to the hotel thanks to my navigational skills. Now we're relying on you to find the room. Okay. Oh, there's something's been left. What does that say? Just a thought to end the day sweetly. Thanks. <laughs> right, so it's too busy um, Insta storying. I've got to show you guys what we are wearing. Look at us. We're in the monochrome. Would you like to tell everybody about your outfit? Yes, Ralph Lauren jeans. There we go, look. She's got wedges over espadoodles, or whatever you were calling them. Yeah. And floaty top. Real pearls, not plastic. <laughs> Make a side note of that one. Uh, yeah, so there we go. <laughs> O-O-T-N from Mum. Do you know what that means? No. Okay. <laughs> Just had a shower and it was delightful very very good shower I feel very clean and cleansed and I have got my rather nautical Venice themed PJs on bought these from ASOS before I came away thought they were very fitting for the occasion so just gonna do a bit of work because Simon has uploaded last week's vlog so I need to check that over and then will probably pass out to be honest because I've been up since half two this morning thanks to someone over there who's currently getting pissed on the champagne right it's a new day I had a nice sleep in this bed currently having a few tech issues over here just getting very flustered with the camera um, we're gonna head down to breakfast in a minute and then we need to create a plan of action for today which includes finally finding the right gondola and gondola man. Right, we're just getting ready for the day. Can't waste it. Cheers. 
sandy bow shoes. Right, we are ready for another day. This is what I'm wearing. Little black strappy dress and because we may have to go in some churches, tied this linen shirt around the top. And then mum has got a pashmina thing in her bag which I can put around my legs because I would be deemed as disrespectful. H&M um, sandals, Gucci bag. And what are you wearing? You've had a few outfit changes this morning, haven't you? Sandy boat shoes. Sandy boat shoes. Navy shorts. Yeah. Lace top. Nautical bag. Ahoy! And Valentino's. Valentino sunglasses. They were £18 from TK Maxx. Right. And they're real. <laughs> and they're real. Sell by. <laughs> Sell by sunglasses, everybody. You heard it here first. Go and have a look if you're curious. Curious George. It's an alleyway. Do you want to see what's down the alleyway? So would you just like to tell everybody what you've got in your bag just in case we need what you've got in your bag? You can do it as you walk. A pen with a light. A pen with a light on. That will definitely come in handy. When we're in dark spaces. When we are in dark spaces. So if you're planning a trip to Venice, don't forget your pen with a light on. Top tip. Right, have you found the right gondola? Yeah. Maybe, is this boat okay? Yeah, that's nice, got yeah? a thing, yeah. Right, now the thing is, is that this is our hotel and we've got a special little thing around there so we're gonna ask him if he can pick us up from our special little thing. I think he thinks it's funny because we've asked him to pick us up from our special little area out here. Thank you. <laughs> We're on, we found the correct gondola and gondola man there he is. And we're going round all of the um, little canals. This one doesn't go around on the Grand Canal. You could, but Mum chose the option of going around the little canal. So that's what we're doing. You need to enjoy this with your eyes, Mother. As well. I'm a true Venetian, gondolier man. But you enjoyed it. Definitely. And he ticked a lot of the boxes, didn't yeah. he? Although, did you notice he didn't have his shirt tucked in? That didn't matter because he had a nice figure. He had a nice figure. Yes. Nice and figure. just the right amount of tattoos, wasn't yeah. it? Yes. Nice, nice arm muscles as well. Nice arm muscles. True Venetian. Oh, there we go. True Venetian. There you go. So we've been walking around for a few hours. We've been here, there and everywhere, but someone's got a slight medical situation. We've got a blister that's happened. So we've come back to the hotel for what seems an ample supply of blister, blister plasters. Plaster. Not really sure how good this camera is at night, but um, right, hang on now this way. Brings a light up pen torch during the day, but not at night. Illuminate you could have illuminated my face. Had dinner, and now we're going to go to St. Mark's Square for one last time just to see what it looks like at night. All lit up, hopefully. Right, I'm going with the whole phone light up face situation again. I literally just turned round, left her looking at a band for all of two seconds. Next minute, she's come back with a rose and a little man in tow. She won't, she only went and bloody took a rose. He told her he'd finished for the night and she believed it. Next minute, she's got the whole bloody bunch and he's following her. <laughs> Trying to ask for a pound. And we haven't got any money. 
So I give him back the roses and told him to go away. <laughs> and that was your fault. Right, this is the current state of play. We are packing because our flight is tonight, not until late in the evening, but we've got to check out and then we can go out for the day. So this is the current situation. Right, we are checking out of the room. Have you enjoyed the hotel and the room? Absolutely loved it. It's good. Up to Queen's standard. Up to Queen's standard, good. Yes, it's been very, very nice. I would definitely recommend this hotel. Maybe just if, like me, you're used to a bigger bed, see if they've got a room with a bigger bed, which I'm sure they probably do. I just didn't look into it. Okay, we're back in St Mark's Square again. We are going to go up there into the bell tower because it's got supposedly a very good view. We're on the water bus. We are heading back to the bus station, saying goodbye to Venice. Have you come back? Amazing. 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 Okay. So, there's quite a lot to fill you in on. It is currently 25 to 4 in the morning. <laughs> I'm that tired, I can't even tell the time. We are now on Friday the 7th of July. We were supposed to be home, wrapped up in bed, about 1, 2, 3, 4 about five hours ago um, and obviously we are not. I am now in a Hilton hotel near Venice. Basically Ryanair cancelled our flight and we were stuck at the airport for about four hours after the flight was cancelled. Um, actually maybe even a bit longer than that and we are now, cut a long story short, we will catch a flight tomorrow at 2.05, no, today at 2.05 p.m. to Barcelona. Once we're in Barcelona, we have to check into a hotel and pay for that ourselves. Probably won't get that back from Ryanair. And we have to stay overnight in Barcelona and then on Saturday, we catch a flight at 10.50 from Barcelona to Stansted. I just can't even. Um, I wish I'd filmed some of the stuff that went on in the airport tonight because the organisation was just terrible. This is the sort of thing that you hear about other people's stories you never think it will happen to you and then it does and then you get really angry moral of the story don't fly with Ryanair good morning so after last night's escapades we probably got well I know I got about four hours sleep in all fairness this hotel is quite nice it's a um, what are they called something tree by Hilton okay. so it's nice um, but that's not the point Ryanair, our shit is the point. So we're just gonna head down to breakfast. I have made the epic mistake of throwing away all my travel toiletries. I threw them away in Venice. So I don't have any of my own shampoo, my own shower gel to use in the shower. So I'm not gonna be able to wash my hair today, but I'm gonna have a shower still. <sighs> it's just one thing after the other. Right, we are off to Treviso yet again. We now have to check in for a flight to Barcelona. And then from Barcelona, we will stay overnight and we will go to Stansted on Saturday. Hopefully. Yeah, you've gone the wrong way. It's that way. Feels so good to be back in my own bed. So good. 
Landed back in London this afternoon. Had a couple of hours catching up on Love Island, as you do, priorities. And um, gonna end the vlog here tonight, Saturday night, just so that I can spend Sunday relaxing, unpacking, and catching up on some sleep. Just rather forget the events of the last 48 hours. So I will see you in next week's vlog. Bye.